What's going on YouTube? My Larks is today. We're back from a player review. This time an Indicus Tots card. Now looking at the card, 456k has just cost me. Obviously the promos only just started about an hour ago. Obviously Bundesliga Tots. Six foot four, high medium work rates, left footed, two star skill moves, three star weak foot. Now in game, Indica has the high and average body type, which is very, very good for a centre back. Obviously it's similar to people like uh, the Hawks Tots card as well. So I'm interested to use it. Obviously high medium work rates is a little bit different for a centre back. So we'll see what that's like in game, obviously. Now having a look at the attribute details already, guy looks like an absolute beast. Obviously six foot four, he's got 83 agility. Obviously the pace is good as well. 87 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Now, looking at it already, he's already got good passing, 90 short pass, 92 long pass, 72 curve again, which is good. Good composure as well, 93, 94 ball control. So, again, very, very good dribbling for a centre-back. The guy looks like he's going to be an absolute beast. Defensively as well, looking very good. Obviously, everything in, in the mid-90s, 92 defensive awareness, 94 stand tackle. And again, physically, he's a beast. You don't need to worry about putting anything on this. Obviously, 87 jumping, 91 stamina, 94 strength, and 90 aggression. Now, the chemistry style that I would assume is the best to use, obviously, I've not used him yet, is the shadow. Obviously, maximize at the pace, puts up sprint speed up to 99, his acceleration up to 97. Obviously, physically, he's got 94 strength, 6 foot 4, high and average body type, obviously, 83 agility as well. So, I can't wait to use this card. He's looking like an absolute beast, by the way. Going to be easy to link in anyway. Obviously, Bundesliga, French. We've got loads of French players in this game, as you probably lot know anyway. No player traits in this card again, which is not bad, obviously, which is good. So, obviously, like I said, I did say the high medium work rates for a centre back is a little bit different. It's very rare that they push on up. Uh, obviously, I will keep an eye on it, obviously, when using him in rivals, just to see does he push up when we are attacking sometimes. Now, obviously, I will play him in a centre back in like a, in a four back formation, obviously, with a left back and a right back. We'll try him in a five back as well. Obviously, he will be on stay back while attacking. So I'm going to leave his defending on, I'm going to leave everything on balance just to see what he's like in game, just to see does he commit forward. Obviously he will be on stay back while attacking anyway, but obviously will the high medium work rates push him forward more than I probably want to with this card. Now, like I said, really, really interested to see how good this card is. Six foot four, 83 agility, good pace as well, good defensively. I'm going to put the shadow on him. So we'll play a few games of rivals and let's see how good this card is. Okay, and good defensive work there by Ndinka. Again, great bit of defending. Oh, again, wins the header in Dicker. Powerful in the air. Again, getting up against Antonio. Again, R1 pressed him within Dicker. Dicker, strong, very strong in the play. Burst away from players as well. He's very quick. Again, nice interception by Ndikar. What a last ditch tackle that is. And again, double tackle there by Ndikar. Great aggression and strength. Again, good jockey in there by Ndikar. Goes a great ball through as well. Look at that. Starts a counter attack. Again, and Dikai throws himself at the ball defensively, which is obviously always good. Again, and Dicker again getting across. See how good his defensive AI was there as well. You guys see his defensive AI there from Indica. Always round on the cover to stop Akin Fenwa getting across. Into Indica on the hair. Wins to Indica. Haven't managed to score a header with him yet, but he seems to win 90% of his aerial duels. Indica. Great defending that was. Didn't even dive in, just shepherd Vinny off the ball. Again, look at the defending from Indica. Great defending. 1v1 as well v Benzema. Again, the defensive eye of Indica. Plays it into Muller. Again, one on one with Mbappe. Look at that. Just leaves him on the floor. This might be the, the, the one card, the defensive card, that can actually stop Mbappe. Again, look at Indica coming off the line, stopping Neuer from being chipped. 
Again, good interception by Ndika. Again, like I said, with the defensive AI with Ndika, I'm not controlling him because he's already going with the runner. He's strong enough to hold off Amina just so I can turn. There we go. Get a pass away. So, as we see from the gameplay, Indica is an absolute beast. Absolutely rapid. You haven't got to worry about anyone trying to get around him. Parsons very good as well, as you see. Left or right foot. Dribbling's very good. Obviously, he's not going to be very, very silky in game. Obviously, he's a defender. High average body type as well. 80 for agility. 6 foot 4. But, again, you know, he's so good. He's AI. Defensively, he's very good. He's always in the right positions. Obviously, most Tots cards are going to be very good with AIs because of how overpowered their stats are compared to other cards now. Like I said, I couldn't really find any faults with this card. Like I said, pace, very good. Parsons, very good. Dribbling, very good. Six foot four with 83 agility. That's not really unheard of on this game. Like I said, defensively, everything is maxed out. Everything is up to 99 with the shadow one. So I would I would say that's the best chemistry style to use in this card. You know, you could put an anchor on him, but again, he wouldn't get that maxed out pace and maxed out defending. That's what you're really going to want in this game. It makes him very meta in game. Body type, again, is very good. Six foot four, high average. That's probably the best body type for a defender on this game anyway, because they're strong powerful and getting the ball obviously physically as well his aggression 90 is good it's obviously strength as you see he's throwing people on the floor the guy's a beast and again aerial threat he wins more or less every header obviously i didn't score any headers headers are sometimes uh, are very manual in this game so you need to make sure that you're very good with obviously flicking down a look stick where you want to put it but he wins more or less every header into the box you know you put a corner in he's going to get on the end of it whether he scores whether he doesn't you know he's still an absolute beast four corners and against corners absolute beast yeah, like I said, I couldn't really find any faults with this card using him. Rapid, 99, but apart from the acceleration, it isn't 99. It's got 99 sprint speed. Very good passing, very good dribbling, very good defending, very good physical, very good defensive AI, always in, in, in the right positions. I'd probably say this is one of the best centre-backs on the game. I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, like a, a Tots Diaz or Team of the Year Diaz, but I mean, it's not far off. Obviously, to be honest with you, if you wanted this card in your team, you would probably be able to get him in anyway. He's French, plays in the Bundesliga, you know, the amount of French cards that come out every FIFA and on this FIFA specifically, it's going to be very, very easy to link him in. So I'm going to be honest with you, that's the reason obviously why he's 456k. Obviously the guy is an absolute beast, so be prepared to come up against this guy in Tots because he's going to be an absolute joke. One of the best centre-backs on the game, 100%. Now, if I'm going to give this guy a rating out of 10, I'm going to give him a 10. You know, there's not really too much wrong with this card. Obviously the, acceler if the pace is up to 97 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Passing's very good, 92 short pass, long pass, so it's top tier passing. Again, dribbling's very good, 94 ball control, 83 agility. He's 6 foot 4, he's a centre-back. So, like, again, if he is getting pressed late on in game, obviously, he's able to hold the ball, turn, because his ball control is very good. Defensively, everything is 99 with a shadow on. So, if you can get him on 10 chem with, obviously, with a shadow on, you know, like I said, it's maxed out defending. Everything is 99. So, that's why he's so overpowered in game. So good. Physically as well, 87 jump for someone who's 6 foot 4. Wins headers non-stop in game. Very good stamina. Lasts the whole game. So you don't need to worry about that. Obviously, strength 94. You can't really get maxed out too much. Obviously, he's 5 off 99. And aggression as well. Even though it's only 90, 90 is obviously still good. He still goes in, wins the ball. Again, his jockeying is very good. Defensive AI is very good in this card. You know, he's quite meta in game. You know, like I said, the 83 agility moves very silkily, very quick. Especially like when he's jockeying back. And obviously, he's got someone running at him. So yeah, I couldn't find any faults with this card. 10 out of 10. Easy to link in. He's French. Plays in the Bundesliga. No player traits again. Sometimes that is a good thing as well, by the way. So yeah, really, really enjoyed using the Dicker. And it's a 10 out of 10 from me from this card. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, run the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you're looking to make more coins on FIFA, looking for ways to improve your team and you're not too sure how, or just looking for general FIFA chat, you know, you just want to just chat about FIFA, join my FIFA trader server group. The link is in the description below. It's free to join. So make sure you go and check that out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time...